I'm already in the church of the Holy Sepulchre. This is the, my first video of the church in um, 2022. Then, happening here, let's hope that 2022 will be better. Secondly, I want to bless everyone who subscribe my channel. You make me happy, mainly because I'm not working almost two years from now. But let's start a tour inside the church and I'm dedicating that church, that cross that will be blessed at that church itself to Issa Flynn and to her 12th daughter Sophia Flynn and we will go through the main sections of the story and the church and um, we will discover everything that we can about it. Sophia, she's 12 years old. She believes in God, and I'm so happy to hear it. She loves cats, holy cats, and I'm sure that if you watched the previous video, you could see some cats in Jerusalem. I dedicated it for you as well, but now we are talking about last hours of Jesus. We know that Jesus was crucified the place that called Golgotha and let me go to the mosaic wall and a lot of you ask me when they actually did it. I'm talking about the Greek Orthodox. But let me show you. 19 Mary. And that actually answer a lot of the questions um, that is Jesus did Jesus been buried in a church? No, the church was built 300 years later. And in that case he was you see here Franciscan monk that tells two disciples as I believe the story of the church and what he's looking at is at the Golgotha. That is a crucifixion place that mentioned mainly, actually only, at the New Testament. Uh, it was out of the city, out of the gate. And if you look carefully behind the crucifixion scene, you can see the walls of Jerusalem. And that answered the question of uh, so many of you. How can it be that it's um, into the city today? It's actually at the center of the city, the Times Square of the city, then that city that we are visiting now was built for the last 2,000 years, been destroyed a lot, been built a lot, and even the walls are only from the 16th century, then we believe that was, it was outside um, the, the gates of Jerusalem, and we have lots of evidence for that. Then after the crucifixion, they took him down, and you can see, you can see Mary, the mother, next to his son. John is kissing the hand of of, of Jesus. The women are weeping as well, and the left man that holds her hair, uh, that's Mary Magdalene, and Joseph of Haramtia, a Jewish uh, priest in a way, from the Sanhedrin gave Jesus his own tomb that no one did before. After the pure father's body and they put linton around him, just like um, the Jews are doing it until today, they bury him in a cave. Three days later, he resurrected. Then in that case, I called the church, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, but the Greek Orthodox are calling that church the Church of the Resurrection. And if you ask me, it sounds better. Then I'm going to climb up the Golgotha to see the bedrock, at least the top of the bedrock, the exact crucifixion place. Look at the heavy doors. Till we climb up, let me tell you two, two Muslims families are opening their door every day and close the day at the doors every night. And that's mainly because the, in that church there's so many uh, 
domination, Christian domination, and, uh, and because of it, there's so many problems between them. And this is so sad for me because I believe that everyone who believes in Jesus he is a Christian. It's done. Let's climb up. Little bit steep. And as you can see, the church is so empty. Mainly because uh, there are no tourists. Mm. Omicron virus is hitting Israel as well. Um, but I must say that less than other countries, then we are on top of the Golgotha Sophia. We are on the top, on top of the Golgotha Hisa. And um, this is the Catholic part. Here you can see when, when they crucif um, nailed Jesus into the cross. And soon I will go closer to it, but I don't want to disturb the people who are praying them to the left. And just behind the people, you can see the a Mary with a spear in the heart. This is the Pieta, Mary holding the dead body of her son. This is part of the... Um, it doesn't move. Hmm? All right, thank God. Here it is. It's part of the Catholic section of the Golgotha. And the other side... You can see the Greek Orthodox of the church. That is the crucifixion spot. You can see Jesus in the center and Sophia. You can see John the disciple to the left and Mary to the right of uh, Jesus. And um, while Jesus was on the cross, he asked to, um, John to take care of his mother, which is so beautiful. So beautiful. Now when we know it, let us go closer. Oh, one thing that I missed is the, you can see the bedrock of the Golgotha, covered with, um, with a glass to avoid tourists and people like me. I take some souvenirs with them. Then let's bless it.
we are living now in the Golgotha. And um, just after the Golgotha had appeared for the body of Jesus, nobody knows it. And let me show you where it was. You see the stone, the stone of the anointing, the anointing stone. Um, you cannot smell the, the oil. It's just like a perfume. And, um, but, Sophia and Isa, I will um, bless it for you there. You can see that it's oily. And let's go to the tomb itself through the Armenian chapel and that's where the Mary's so um, the crucifixion place according to the uh, to the Armenian which is right on top of there to the Calvary and uh, before you will ask me who are those tourists Israelis. It's so nice to see that Israelis are not afraid to visit Christian places, Muslim places. Uh, most of the Israelis are open to every kind of religion accepting it. Um, in front of you is the tomb of Jesus. We're expecting to see cave, but that cave been destroyed so many times. Joseph of Arimathea gave Jesus his own tomb that no one used before. And the book of John tells us, and it will answer a lot of your questions, that the crucifixion place, which was a Roman place, was so close to the, um, um, to the garden of Joseph of Arimathea, then in that case, the tomb was um, almost, um, I mean, the tomb and the Calvary, the crucifixion place is now part of it. Now, let's try to go in with a camera. Um, from time to time, the priest gives me permit to do that. And this is uh, for 12 years old Sophia. You will see that there are two chapels there. The first one is the Angel Chapel. They took care that no one will steal the body of Christ. And the second chapel is the tomb itself. Then thanks God, he gave us one minute to pray there, and then he kicked me out. But that, that was important, Sophia. Believe in Jesus, 12 years old, very important for me. Then this is the tomb that used to be a cave many, many years ago. And now we will go to the Christian chapel, another one. And uh, inside, I won't be able to mention, uh, to talk, but here I can mention, I can tell you that that's where Mary Magdalene saw uh, Jesus. Now, for me, the power of women 
all over the New Testament is amazing. Then um, Sophia and Issa, please be part of it. Be strong in your faith. Be strong in your love and be proud that you are a woman. Then that's where Mary Magdalene was standing. And that's where Jesus was standing. And Mary Magdalene said, Oh, did you see my Lord? It was on Sunday, just after the resurrection, when she entered, just like we enter now, to the tomb. And she saw that Jesus wasn't there. Let's enter to the Mary Chapel. Um, but I won't be able to talk if people are praying there. But you will see the Christmas decoration. This is supposed to be tomorrow is the last day for it. The first two days we saw Jesus on Mary, but now he is the King of the world. He is the Son of God, the Messiah. Then if you want to know how should you enjoy the cross, and we have different kind of crosses. I mean, I do have different fr uh, kind of crosses to pray, to bless. Uh, go into the link of buy me a coffee. It's, uh, the link itself is at the description of that video. And if you won't find it, uh, just write me a message via YouTube and I will send you the link. It was a pleasure to be with you. Um, if you are, if that's the first time that you are watching my videos, then welcome to my family. And um, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.